U.S. President Joe Biden has ended his re-election campaign and endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to succeed him as the Democratic candidate in an extraordinary decision that upends an already dramatic race for the White House. Joe Biden, 81, said in a written statement that it was the greatest honor to serve but his withdrawal was in the best interests of my party and the country. The announcement caps a tumultuous period in U.S. politics which began with his sometimes incoherent debate performance against Donald Trump on the 27th of June. Biden says he will remain president until January. Kamala Harris, 59, said that she was honored to be endorsed, adding she would earn and win this nomination and unite the country against Trump. We have 107 days until election day, she said. Together, we will fight. And together, we will win. While Kamala Harris has been picking up endorsements from many big figures in the party, she is yet to be officially nominated, and that may not happen until the Democratic National Convention in August. A resurgent Trump meanwhile has pulled ahead in polling and was confirmed as Republican nominee at the party's convention in Milwaukee this week, five days after surviving an assassination attempt. In the wake of Biden's decision, he declared the president was not fit to run and is certainly not fit to serve. Other senior Republicans joined him in their criticism and called on Biden to leave the White House immediately, not just the Democratic candidacy. Dozens of senior Democrats and grandees including former President Barack Obama, Senate leader Chuck Schumer and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi immediately praised the decision and lauded Biden's accomplishments in office. There are already signs that many in the party will unify behind her, including from high-profile politicians who have been touted as potential rivals for the nomination in the event Biden stepped aside.